Hello everybody, Inigo Galeano from the Michael Tech of Studio London. Welcome back to another Q&A session. Today we've got a question that comes all the way from Stockholm. And Eric, Eric is asking me how, what to do when you're on stage and suddenly or on set and you freeze, you're completely blocked. You can't speak, you can move, you, you don't know what to do, you don't know what's next. You know, that happens very often for actors and it happens in life. Sometimes we go through things and we just don't know what's the next move, what's the next step. So when this happens, it's usually because, again, we're too much in the mind, okay? When you think about something too much, then you just, you get stuck in this thinking plane and you can't jump into action. And we always talk about not going into action too quickly so we can have an inspired or a free action. But sometimes you could have trigger, you could have make some movement to trigger things, then you can move on. Yeah, let me explain that. So when you freeze, when you stop, and we can really see this on improvisation exercises we do in our workshops, improvisation based on movement, okay? And it's not necessarily a physical movement. To begin with, we do it with the gesture of receiving. And we do this movement of I receive. But that movement, what it does, it puts things into motion. Yeah? When you go into the intellect, when you go into the mind, everything stops. But just look around. Nothing in life is ever completely still. Uh, there's always... Even, inanimate objects they've got a vibration there's always like a movement no matter how subtle it is when something is completely still stop is dead so when you freeze it means you've come into an intellectual plane therefore nothing alive is going to happen and by alive i mean when we create we're in relationship with other elements and out of this relationship creations are born that happens in the creative process or in our life because we do create our life to, to some extent so Eric I would say start moving you know this movie um, Finding Nemo remember Doris the character the, the blue fish she loses her memory she's got, she's got some sort of amnesia and uh, but she learned when she was little a mantra that it was just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. So she forgets who she is, where she is, what is she doing. That happens sometimes in life, on stage, on set. Remember, just keep swimming, just keep moving. So just when you, we need to get used to, um, to be quick enough to, when we identify this paralysis, we move. And movement is not necessarily to go running. You can move your focus from the mental plane into another plane. Like I said that in a previous video, move your focus, your attention to one of the physical senses or just do a gesture or just do something with your hands. Look at your hands and it's a movement with awareness, meaning you do the movement not in an automatic way. If, for example, you pick to look at your hands, do it, but really be there and receive from your skin, from your fingers, from all of that, and that will trigger something. You know, in the ancient Greece, um, exams between masters and pupils were not like today. We're on a chair, on a table, writing, vomiting everything we've memorized. No, they would go for a walk and the master would ask questions to the pupil. And they knew that walking in motion, things flow better, things come back, things begin to drop in. It's like in the monasteries, they've got these cloisters to walk. When you have to think about something, it's good to go for a walk. So keep the movement. When you're still, when you're frozen, when you're paralyzed, it's because you're in the mind. The mind paralyzes you. So you need to get out of there with movement. And as I said, could be physical movement, a movement of awareness, or a movement of very subtle physical movement, yeah? But it's not, I move and that should be it. I move with awareness. What do I mean by that? 
Remember we talk about our number one being our physical body and then our number two being our inner life? So make a movement and take your number two with you. Be aware of how that movement makes your number two feel. What configuration is forming in your number two out of that movement? For example, if I do this, if I don't pay attention to how my number two changes when I do this with my number one is like doing nothing because I'm making physical movements, but I'm still in the mind. So always, always, always take your number two with you and notice what you notice. And then you'll start to receive something from that movement. The only way to receive is to be into this receptive mo mode. So when you make the action, listen because that action is going to give you so much. And then with that, that it's been given to you, you can make the next step. Hope that helps, Eric. Good luck and don't worry, we've all been in those situations. Professionally and personally, this is a good advice because we have a problem that normally has been created by our way of thinking. And we think that with more thinking or talking about it, a lot we will fix it now make a conscious movement and by conscious i mean when you make the mo the movement notice what you notice notice what happens in you and that will take you to the next and to the next and to the next just to finish has it ever happened to you i'm sure when you wake up in the morning and you don't have energy you go like oh god I don't want to leave anymore. I don't want to wake up. I, I don't have the strength. I'm just too tired. I'll stay here all day. But then you get out of bed and then you walk to the kitchen and then you make a coffee. Those actions are giving you, are providing you with the energy for the next action. So if you stay in the mind in bed thinking, oh, I can with my life, blah, 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 nothing's going to happen. But if you make one action, it's like that action is generating the energy that it's needed for the next one. So think about it in action as well, okay? Good luck, Eric. And everyone else, please keep sending us your questions. We're loving your questions. Email happens below or here, I never know. And we will be very glad to answer them. Take care, have a nice day, bye-bye.